Hi guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called File Browser. It's essentially a file explorer or finder if you're on Mac that is hosted on your server. And so this is going to be an incomplete tutorial because while I was able to get it set up and it looks like this and you can access, you know, your folders and upload, uh, download, create as well. There is a little hiccup in this um, tutorial and it's the fact that I, I could not figure out how to link to the server itself and not the Docker container because there's not much use in my opinion for this to be on the Docker container, um, at least for my use case. So I would have liked to be able to link to the server itself, the root server where the Docker container is deployed on. So anyways, I will show you how to set it up. It's very simple. We're just going to go into projects, click add file browser. We're going to add file browser as a name, select the production environment, add a new resource, call it file browser, well, search for file browser and then select the file browser service and then click on the server that you're going to be deploying it on. Shorten the service name. Well, this is just something that I like to do. You don't have to do that. And I do the same thing for the uh, domain. And so with that, there's nothing that we need to configure from environment variables. But uh, if you do take a look at the compost file, it basically sets up three volumes. So there's a database dot db file. There is also a JSON file here, file browser, which is the settings, I believe. Yeah, it's the settings. And then you get an SRV file. And this is the location where you want the application to connect to in terms of like the Explorer. So where is the directory that you want exposed in the application? And this is the configuration that I couldn't figure out how to modify. Maybe somebody uh, watching this is going to be able to do it and uh, we'll be able to update that in the comments. But anyways, go ahead and click deploy. So now the containers have started. Just need to wait a little bit for it to be healthy. And it is. And so once we visit the URL, we're ready to log in. The default credentials are admin and admin as the password. And so with that, you are in the application. And if you wanted to change your password immediately, you go into the settings. And uh, then right here, change uh, password. But other than that, this is inside the Docker container, as I mentioned earlier. And so if somebody can figure out how to link it so that it's on the host server. That would be super helpful. And so that is going to be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.